Hello dear viewers. Before going to today's topic, let me answer my last question. What is the significance of nuclear physics in radiation safety applications for the nuclear medicine department? Nuclear physics is nothing but the study of the physical properties of atomic nucleus. In the nucleus, especially when it is radioactive, the concept of physical characteristics means the half-life, the decay scheme pattern, and the energy that is emitted. All this knowledge is going to help us to set the guidelines for radiation safety, applying the golden safety rules of time, distance, and shielding. That means, how long this radioactivity will be strong, when should it be disposed, and what are the shielding characteristics. All this can be set only when you are well aware and the nuclear physics background is strong. So this is the significance of nuclear physics in radiation safety applications. Today, let me start with the topic of personal monitoring services. That is the radiation workers have to be monitored for their effective dose levels. The dose that they receive during their occupational exposure. This has been made mandatory by every regulatory body. In India, the regulatory body is Atomic Energy Regulatory Board. This is ARB which sets a limit of 20 millisievert, millisievert being the unit of effective dose that is being received for every radiation worker and 20 millisievert is the average over five years and for a particular year it should not cross 30 millisieverts. Let us understand the occupational ex exposure concept that is to check the occupational exposure level when the worker is handling the radioactivity as the part of his responsibility at work. Now this has to be excluding the natural background radiation and the medical exposure levels. What it means is the natural background has to be checked using a control monitor in the department and this has to be subtracted from the reading of that particular worker's monitor. And for the medical exposure exclusion, the radiation worker should not use this monitor when he is being exposed to a particular radioactive procedure. Uh, for example, if he is going for any x-ray scan for any reason, then he should not use this monitor. Now, the significance also is to ensure ALARA principles like how well the radiation levels have been minimized or reduced in the particular department. That is by checking for the adequacy of shielding, supervision and training. Supervision of a new star and how well he or she has been trained. This kind of monitoring and the readings which can be shown to the staff and for the future a purpose, the reduction or applying a proper alara can be done by the individual staff himself or herself. In this case, as one of the viewers had suggested in my last, for my last presentation is a comment that a common sense works a lot. For example, out of practice, one can know how well the patient can be counseled and his or her answers or question answers can be given before the radioactivity administration to avoid any exposure later when the patient can may have to come up with that question which has not been answered. So these kinds of activities can improve the LRA principle for a particular stuff. To identify accidental or careless exposure is also a very important need of personal monitoring. That is, the future uh, control 
of this exposure levels can be done according to the baseline reading, reading if at all any overexposure and an assessment or an investigation may have to be conducted as per what was the reason of overexposure. This kind of monitoring is done using thermoluminescent dos dosimeter nowadays because the film badge has been almost replaced by this thermoluminescent dosimeter. This is exclusively for a particular person and a permanent record of what is the exposure level can be maintained by this thermoluminescent dosimeter. This is a mandatory requirement as I have already told you by every regulatory body which has to be thought, uh, set up by every operational management. The chest and wrist badges are also required for the exposure levels assessment especially the wrist badge is required when the handling of open sources are done by the particular staff. This data has to be quarter this discs inside the cassette of the thermoluminescent dosimeter has to be replaced quarterly and the data will be sent with the new uh, discs for the um, forthcoming months. That is the three months. Every three months this DLD uh, discs have to be replaced. Now the pocket dosimeter does not uh, is not taken as a exclusively for a particular individual and it is a direct readout. This is a very big advantage over the thermoluminescent dosimeter and a ring dosimeter also can be used to check the hand readings or how much is the hand getting exposed especially when the radioactivity open sources are being handled or withdrawn the doses are withdrawn using a syringe and things like that. Now this is for a new procedure or a new radioactivity being introduced in the department and also for the patient attenders if there is a prolonged proximity required for the patient attender along with the radioactive patient if at all the patient is very small which is pediatric or uh, geriatric patients non-ambulatory patients the patients who cannot walk and uh, move around by themselves who need a constant support such patients are called as vulnerable patients and so that attender will be needing the pocket dosimeter a direct readout which can give us the idea of how much is the exposure level if he is crossing a particular limit then that has to be uh, the person attender has to be replaced by another one. There's some I, uh, some method has to be done to reduce his exposure levels. So the direct reading or pocket dosimeter is required for such patient attenders. Now I'm going to leave you with avoid contamination question. That is why the TLD or thermoluminescent dosimeter should not be let to get contaminated. Contaminated is nothing but some amount of radioactivity getting stuck to the surface of the DLD. The answer is very simple and I'm almost sure that most of you can give me the answer, at least the people who are working in this field and uh, waiting for your answers and your feedback. Thank you.